title of this exhibition is Jendela. It's actually like a tongue-in-cheek name, easier for people to pronounce. And this exhibition actually explores this dialogue between me and one of the residents in Taman Jurong. I actually went to her place to actually like explore, like even to be her, like what actually changed over the years, and have a very simple conversation. The moment I get into her house, it really feels like home. That's the part where I actually like want to portray in this work. For my work, again, okay, uh, how it actually fits into Bulan Bahasa, like the theme. So you see, to me, because everyone has their own take of what language means. So as an artist, for me, I chose visual language. So for her part, which is very important, I, I need to show is for Bulan Bahasa, is actually her ways of using the method of storytelling, which is very prominent or very important for all the Malay culture when we were younger. Most part of, I think, Malay history are actually being passed down through storytelling. For me personally, it's about actually putting them onto a new media, which is a video. I don't actually like create a film about her. I actually create a so-called like, an audio abstract, and then whatever story that she has, I will actually translate it into something a poetic way of like putting her things. So she can talk about like a neighborhood, and then I'll just choose a scene from one of the neighborhood that she talked about. This exhibition will actually showcase a place where people actually come to congregate and maybe like to share stories. So, Madam Afsha will be sitting in this particular chair that I'm sitting. We'll go on and on about her own story and then like people should actually sit down and really learn to listen like how interesting these stories can be. I also will feature like things that are very Malay. I have curtains, I have chairs and buses or flowers and things like that. All these details are actually very important to Malay culture. I'm actually showing like, this is Malay. We like to keep things, we like to show everything pretty. But at the end of the day, it has to be cozy where there will be actually carpet. So the setting will be just a chair and then a carpet for people to actually sit to listen to the storyteller. And then there will be like three windows on the panel to actually mimic the older days like window grills that we have in Taman Juro, which is the oval shape like grills, which I think most people are fond of. There's this lack of windows for the newer buildings right now. That's why I call it Chandela because this is actually to create a new window for the people to actually view this estate. The whole setting of the exhibition will actually be like a living room because the most important place where actually people come together and then to talk and be a family. So I think without a living room, there will be no family. It's just separate bedrooms with separate stories. I hope the visitors, when they actually come to see the exhibition, they will actually learn about how storytelling is actually very important and in preserving the Malay language because I personally think that's where you actually learn the language more when you're at home.